Welcome to Reef Diary, day 36. So I wanted to give you an update on how the tank actually looks, what I'm seeing every single day. Obviously in super blue mode, everything looks fine. There's nothing to complain about. Yay. However, if we put a clip on the phone, you can already see some of the issues that are going on. But let's take it one step further and switch the skies to daylight. Now we can actually see what's happening in the aquarium, and you can see all the deaths everywhere. You can see things that are super pale, and we're about to break that down for the next few minutes. Starting at the left end of the tank, we're going to start right there on the overflow wall. That is a Hollywood stunner that is not green whatsoever, and it's half dead. Now let's back out a little bit, and you can see the pavona, or whatever that thing is. I always call it the wrong name, and half of it's missing. That lobo is super pale, and let's pan up to the shadow caster. And I'm starting to see a couple of branches are turning white in there. And that coral has really hung in there for the last few weeks while the tank has been rebelling against everything. The Drew's Acro is hanging tough, which is impressive and giving me a slight amount of color in the reef for right now. There is a blue tort back there that the skin has come off of most of it. And over here is another area that is turning white, Spock. Get out of the way, Spock. So you can see in the background there is a acro horizontal, plus there's an acro in front of it. Both of them are just skin is peeling off. Let's look at one of my favorite chalices. It's usually bright, vivid green, and it's almost clear. And it keeps expelling xanthelli every single day, and it won't absorb any color whatsoever. All the lime in the sky is gone now. There's no tissue left whatsoever. There's some more blue tort that is gone. Just sticks that I need to remove from the aquarium. The Slimer is half alive. Down here on the sand, that was bright, hot pink. Not anymore. And this was blue. And now it is pale. It's almost gray. And uh, <clears throat> it's alive. But it looks absolutely terrible. The tissue should not be clear like that. The hammers and the frog spawns are okay, but they're they're rather colorless. The yellow scroll back there, you can see both pieces are gone. The maize coral is hanging in there, which is interesting. And down here is a branching sophastria, and then my really pretty chalice had just turned to a brown puddle. It's ugly. The Duncans seem to not care. Here's another chalice. Well, there's some skin left, but you couldn't even imagine that's chalice. You would just think it's dirty rock. That was green. Now it's not. The Gorgonian looks normal. Let's go to the back of the tank. Again, on the overflow box on the wall, that was a huge piece of pink and green chalice that has basically turned brown. And above it was another really nice chalice that has got all kinds of weird coloration. It's kind of orange and nothing doesn't look right. There's some of the skin on the back of the blue tort that hasn't peeled off yet. And this chalice is half gone with some tissue in the center that's trying to hang in there. That was hot pink. This is another yellow scroll with a little bit of tissue in the dead center that's hanging on. The milka seems okay. The leather coral seems okay. This does not. That does not. There's that Slimer. And here was the Millie that the front side looks okay when you look from the front of the tank, but the back, all the tissue is peeled off and we're down to skeleton. Down on the sand, we have uh, another chalice that has some color still to it. The anemone actually looks a healthy color. All the Sunset Monty that I had down here like right there, can't even tell that was a Monty. Right there, it's gone. And on the far left, there's a little piece of Monty that's hung in there. And then the Duncans, like I said, they seem to be okay. So that's where we are today with the tank and how it looks in a situation where it's depleted of all the potassium it needs. And I pumped out all the water last night that I told you. I didn't trust the salt water in that vat, so I pumped it all out down the driveway I uh, disposed of 160 gallons of salt water. 
Then I went ahead and hooked up a dosing pump and I set it up over the reef so it doses directly into my reef in an area of high flow. And it's dosing the potassium every hour for 12 hours. And it puts in 42 milliliters of elemental K, which is potassium. And so it did half the bottle last night and it's gonna do the other half of the bottle tonight. Now, one person told me there's a good chance when you dose potassium, your alkalinity will go up. And guess what? They were right. So my alkalinity that has been 9.1, 9.16 for the last few days is 10.6 right now. <laughs> it came up quickly. So I turned off the Versa pump to the calcium reactor and I turned off the CO2 tank going to the calcium reactor because I'm about to dose another 500 milliliters of potassium tonight to help bring the potassium up to, I hope, will be 300 ppm by tomorrow afternoon. I did see some hints of um, reaction by the dendrophilia. It has been closed up for three weeks, not dead, but not opening, and it tried to open a little bit today. And I'm going to assume, or I'm hoping to assume, that adding some potassium to the water is helping that coral. Because not only is the dendro trying to open up again, but the two walking dendros that are in the anemone cube, they also were fluffed up and extending tentacles for the first time in two or three weeks. So as you can see, I'm cleaning the glass, which I did on both tanks. And I also acclimated my brand new cleanup crew today. That is going to be tomorrow's diary. I decided not to make this diary super long with multiple things. So I just wanted to focus on what the tank looks like right now because I want you to feel my frustration. <laughs> I want you to understand how things really look. And to be honest, what happened after the cyano treatment, after the big water change, that should have turned around by now. It's been almost three weeks since that happened, and I am seeing no change of turnaround. Nothing has improved. Everything has continued to deteriorate slightly every single day. I might not seeing massive deaths, but I am not seeing any kind of growth whatsoever other than algae on the glass. Today's diary was not fun. It was not enjoyable. It was not uh, positive at all. But it is what I'm literally looking at every single day. And I wanted you to kind of experience that because that is the reality of a reef keeper. You are going to have some really hard days at some point in this hobby. And you're going to have to just kind of work your way through it and try to be patient and keep making corrections to get things back on track. Now, I did order more ICP tests today. I also ordered more potassium because I think I'm going to dose another bottle. And other than that, that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll do the cleanup crew. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.